All right, I have some things to say. I'll tell you something. Yes, this is a black and mild. Okay, one. I'm working on it. I don't promote smoking or whatever. Don't kids don't even start smoking. It's not cool. It gives you cancer. You could die from it, stuff like that. Now that we've got that disclaimer out of the way. Places like Hialeah, all of South Miami, Hialeah, Fontainebleau, most especially, most importantly, Fontainebleau, Doral, um, Coral Gables for sure, racist. Okay? They look down on black people. I can't even tell you, every single day that I live in this place, I have to walk past some Cuban or you know someone of some other Spanish descent who looks down on me because of my skin color. They, they, they smug their noses at me. You walk into their business establishment, they don't even speak to you, okay? I'm walking into your store. They got their head down, head down at the counter. Okay, waiting for you to say something to them. I went to in, into My Smoothie, which is a place in Coral Gables called My Smoothie. Went to My Smoothie, two ladies behind the counter. The lady that was free, when I walked in there, all of a sudden she became busy. She saw my skin color, she became busy. So she's at the counter, at the counter now, works there. Not even saying nothing to me, head down saying nothing. Head down, not saying anything, okay? You got that, you got, it, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm really upset. Now I'm gonna say one thing, you know, Spanish men and women are sexy. They're, they're beautiful. I have no issues with Spanish people. I'm not racist. I'm just a pissed off black person that is tired of living, like I'm living in the 1940s, like I'm back in the 1950s. You know what I'm saying? You weren't, you weren't even born in this country, okay? You're not even from here. What gives you the right to come to America and be racist? What, what do you think gives you that right? Let me ask you another question. Do you think you're going to make it into heaven being racist? Because guess what? There's black people in heaven, and you're going to have to be with them for eternity, okay? So if you can't even look at a black person now, I'm going to tell you something else that's done. I hear black music, 99.1, they're playing that. They're playing... Rick Ross, they're playing Plies, all of this stuff. They're playing all the R&B artists. But yet, you don't like black people. You're playing our music. You're dressing like us. You're talking like us, saying nigga, all this stuff. But yet, you have no black friends. You don't even respect black people. You look in this area, Fontainebleau. This area. There's not even any interracial dating here, okay? So they don't even believe a black person is worthy enough to date. And I'm, I mean, that's just being real. There's, I have no, you know what? I have no issue with if you choose to stay within your race because I myself have chosen, I made a choice that I want to marry a black man. Now, it's not because I don't find white men, Spanish men, Chinese men attractive. I find any man's attractive you know it doesn't matter his race it does matter his build however but his race doesn't matter I made a choice I just made a personal choice but you you live it you live but you know what I don't knock any other interracial my brothers have interracial children I don't knock that okay and I used to not knock it I, I've dated white guys and everything but the whole point is you're in a whole area where there's no interracial dating. That, that tells you something right there. This is worse than when I was in Hicktown, Virginia. Okay? Hicktown, Virginia had interracial dating. Okay, so just to kind of give you a feel of, of what I'm talking about. How behind the times these people are. And any Christian that's watching this video and you're offended because I'm smoking right now, you know what? I don't care. This is where I'm at. This is Tia. This is me. And th that's the problem. There's not enough people that love God that are being real. What are your issues? Are you perfect? No, you're not. Everyone's at a different level. That's a whole different. I'm not even going to talk about that. 
But the whole point is this whole racism thing. I'm just putting this out. I want to put it on YouTube. Maybe I'll only get 5 or 10 views until people know who I am or whatever. 20, 30, however many views. But I, I really don't care. I wanna, I'm trying to let people know this, this is a rate. Don't move to these areas. If you're black, if you're not Spanish, don't move to this area. Simple as that. It's sad. It's freaking sad. And I'm, I, I'm done. I've had it. I mean, I was already, you know, God already told me to move to Fort Lauderdale. There's some, I need to continue my life in some other areas. So I'm in the right state. I'm just not in the right city for obvious reasons. I mean, it's especially for that main reason right there. It's sick. I mean, it's sad. There's racism all over America. I'm exposing these particular areas. Do not move to these areas if you're black. Simple as that. Because if you do, you'll end up being pissed off just like me. Give it a month and a half and you'll, you'll be at this point. And if it weren't for my love for the Lord, I would have already snapped on some people and put them in their place. But it's not about acting ignorant. And you shouldn't act in anger. But I'm putting out this video in anger because there's a lot of truth in it. Alright, holla back. Like Moses Productions, Tia Stewart, all day.